Let's speak to someone else who knew uh, MEC Mahwe quite well, the former CEO of the Kahiso Development Trust, Mr. Hotso Skuman. Mr. Skuman, thank you very much for availing yourself this morning. Uh, perhaps your earliest introduction to MEC Mahwe, we understand he holds a very special place in your heart. Yes, I think, I think firstly, condolences to the family, condolences to the Provincial Executive Council, of the free state. Yes, the, the MEC holds a very special place in my heart. I think we started with the MEC when, when, he started, when he was appointed the MEC in 2009. And I think his goal was always how do you make schools impact the lives of students. Uh, he always had this dream that he wanted uh, Tabu Fusanyani to become the former Kwatwa, uh, because previously Kwatwa was seen as a hub of education. And he, and, and he knew that if we could work with him in turning around education in Kwakwa and he transplant what we've achieved in other parts of the province, the province would become the top province in the country. I think, yes, we, we certainly would miss him a great deal. Uh, his passion was just unmatched. You could not match his passion with, 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 with what he has achieved. He was just an incredible leader. And has always had a huge commitment towards the learners. When, whenever he speaks, he spoke about how we make the black child access opportunities to education. And he knew that we would not be able to succeed in making uh, black children access higher education unless the basic education system works. We'll certainly miss him a great deal. And let's talk about his vision for creating the free state and turning it into a hub of education, as you say. What was the collaboration like and what are some of the fruits you can tell us about um, that were born from the collaboration? I think one, one of the big, big things that the, the MEC really was passionate about was, was recognizing performance. He, he brought into the education system the whole idea of incentivizing teachers and schools that were performing. One of the things that he did in the free state was to start setting benchmarks and said to schools, this is where I want you to perform. And, and, and schools that would perform at that level, uh, the MEC would go out of his way to celebrate the performance of those schools and the teachers. Uh, I, I mean, he, he, had, he, had, he had this dream one day uh, the first state to, to achieve 100 percent in this country, and and, and no wonder that the, the first state has been for the past uh, four years been the 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 the, the, the province number one in as far as uh, education results are concerned. So he, he's really he, it really changed how education should be managed, and he strongly believed that we needed to start uh, motivating, incentivizing good performance in schools. And he was also quite strong in holding teachers accountable. P teachers knew that if they were not delivering on these expectations, they will certainly be held accountable. And with that kind of leadership style, you can attract people who resonate with the vision and you can attract people who will pull away from the vision, especially when you demand accountability. What do you believe? Because uh, he could have left. He could have left the education sector. He could have joined the corporate sector. He could have climbed up the corporate ladder, but he chose to stay and create this hub of education. And so what do you believe actually drove him to do that? I think he had, he had this strong belief. I mean, there was, there was no speech that the MEC would make and he would not speak about the black child. He had a very strong view that if this country has to become an equal society, you have to make sure that education works for black children in this country. And that's really what motivated him to stay in the sector and, and had a strong view that uh, the, that, 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 that the public sector and public service people needed to be rewarded for, for outstanding performance. And that's, and that's what he has been able to do in the, in the free state. He, he always, he never took it for granted that the performance of the free state was not because of him. He always would say to the teachers and his officials in the department that you make me who I am. These results are not because of me. These results are because of you or because of us as a team. And I think he's just been an incredible leader um, and, 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 and made sure that he knew each school. He knew each principal in the, in the province. And he also knew the schools that were struggling. And he knew what interventions must be put into those schools for them to perform. He was just the most passionate, committed uh, politicians. And I think for me, uh, Tate, 
represents this model politician that if politicians have their heart in the right place, they can achieve incredible results. And that, for me, is what Tate represents. Uh, I have a view that says Tate has set the benchmark for what politicians should do when you measure performance. Khotso Skuman is the former CEO of the Kahiso Development Trust. Thank you very much, sir, for your time this morning.